Hey, this is Phoenix Genesis for PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fred Camp. We're playing Minecraft on PlayStation 4 in my Phoenix Genesis Survival World with the Natural Texture Pack, and this is TU31. And I've been uh, exploring since the uh, new update came in, and here's the coordinates on the where I am right now on this map, and I hit the mother load. Not only did I get a little uh, Savannah Island stockpiled with all kinds of great animals, uh, we've got dogs, sheep, pigs, uh, cows, chickens, um, no bunnies. I wonder if they only generate in um, certain biomes because uh, those have kind of been far and few between. But anyway, no bunnies. Who cares about the bunnies? But uh, look at this ocean monument. And, I'm, and I brought a night vision potion. Fortunately, I always carry an ender chest with me in survival and I keep a, a fire resistant potion just in case I fall in lava or I'm in the nether. Uh, you know, if I'm mining for those uh, diamonds and I'm just too close to fire. And I always carry a uh, night potion, uh, those night vision potion, those come in very handy, and I did make a tutorial on that. You can check that on my channel. I uh, took these blocks out with the Silk Touch pickaxe. I wanted to show you the three new blocks with the Ocean Temple. We have the uh, Sea Lantern, the um, Prism, Prism Green, um, and uh, sorry, I can't pronounce that, and the, uh, yeah, Prismarine and then the Prismarine brick as well. So um, basically, you know, you have your regular stone and then you have your stone brick or your sandstone and your kind of smooth sandstone. Um, kind of think of it that way. And those sea lanterns are um, probably the brightest light that you can admit in your survival world. Uh, uh, and I, I think they are brighter than glowstone. And um, they're a little bit in the natural texture pack. The uh, glowstone is just really kind of tacky looking. I mean, it has its, uh, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy it and it kind of now emits a glow in the new um, update uh, so it does have its purpose but you know a lot of times it just looks really tacky for ceiling light and I've been using the redstone but in my main train station it's just making it lag so I think I am going to um, grab some of these and and use these as uh, lighting uh, instead of the glowstone and the redstone lamps and um, torches are great in medieval builds but if you're doing something more modern torches can depends how you place them can look kind of tacky so anyway just uh, enough on that I just wanted to kind of show you this thing is I think the most massive structure I've I found one jungle temple one desert temple in the Phoenix Genesis survival world and uh, they don't come close to how massive this one is and I am in survival peaceful because I don't want any of those uh, guardians and elder guardians to um, come and kill me right Right now I'm, while I'm first kind of looking at the temple and um there's a couple things you could do with this temple um other than the boss fights uh you could uh go ahead well you could leave it as is and just kind of maybe have it as a scenic tour which you're trained to come through or you can really take the time and you could drain it out and um use it as your uh, home if you're not really a kind of designer builder and you um you'd rather fight mobs and explore and you know do other kind of things in your world um this would just be a really uh, great place to live and I'm debating what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I want to try to reconstruct its design um, uh, above uh, above the water or if I really want to, um, you know, drain this thing. And uh, it, I'm going to just have to debate that. Right now I'm just having fun exploring and I'm definitely going to drown. That's definitely uh, another thing in addition to uh, your uh, night vision potion. You're definitely going to want to bring some um, potions so you can breathe underwater or, you know, even... Um, you know, a respiration on your helmet, you know, uh, that'll help. Uh, the only breathing one I, I'm pretty sure you have is on the helmet. You can't put uh, breathing on any of your other armor. And you're going to need really good armor anyway if you want to come down here and fight the guardians for uh, domination of this temple in anything other than survival of uh, peaceful. If you're going in survival um, easier, survival normal, uh, survival hard would be really, like, cool. Could you, could you survive? Because if you die, that's it. Your world's gone. Um, that would be fun. Uh, also, as far as draining this baby goes, um, and again, we have a really nice look with the night vision. Um, you could drain it a couple ways. Um, you could drain it with a sponge, and I, th I think you do get the sponge in there. That's, that's, so you would have to find it first, but, um, uh, or I think you might be able to craft sponges that I haven't uh, looked into yet because we haven't had sponges to do anything with um, also you could do the way I did the other um, my little mini um, on my mushroom island my little mini farm I drained it with uh, just kind of dirt or sand or gravel that works or you could kind of just uh, build glass around it kind of make like a, um, an underwater dome and once it's sealed um, you know and you drain it that could work as well so um, there's a couple different ways that you could kind of uh, 
kind of display this in your in your world and um, enjoy it in its all its uh, glory and we'll be exploring that uh, if you um, are looking for a new seed um, you can go ahead and use this one and get this temple um, I'll show you the coordinates and uh, I think I already did show you the coordinates so I think at the end I show you the coordinates again uh, and it's uh, the name of the seed is uh, Phoenix Genesis. That's uh, just the way we spell it on the YouTube channel um, with the capitalization for the P and the capitalization for the G. And uh, knock yourself out. Uh, you, of course, because I did start this world before T31, um, at the very beginning, you're not going to have the um, same biomes that I did. But I only explored a very uh, small fraction, about maybe one fifth of the world if that um and i saved most of it for tu31 so a lot of the, the things i'm going to do now will be um the seed will be equivalent for you and i'll probably will pull the seed up in a creative mode and see how what it looks like to see uh kind of how it compares i really did thoroughly map it up i actually made a big giant physical map of the phoenix genesis world before but anyway as we said rest assured you will will absolutely um get uh and there's the coordinates that's um x negative one two three nine y sixty four and z uh five ninety one um which is west of your uh spawn point pretty much head due west and you're going to um find it and it's a it's uh one map over from your spawn your um spawn map which is the center and again i hope you enjoyed this and yes you can have an ocean monument in your um in your old world